with you. So just when I set the camera, don't say anything until I start. Okay. Zachariah Jackson, Bassett News. We're in Roselle, New Jersey, and the problem that I had earlier, now one o'clock was, I was thinking Roselle, they said Roselle Park. There's actually one acre park that's in Roselle. Correct. Correct. Uh, and <laughs> who am I interviewing? Teresa Billingsley. Okay. Are you the one that written, written a book or? Co-author, I'm not Co the visionary. Okay. Co-author. Daddy's Girl. Yes. The ultimate cover. Yes. Okay, now, what was the vision behind the book? The vision behind the book is from Angela Vett. Williams Hawkins and her idea is to bring together all of us co-authors to show our different variations of having our father versus not having our father and the impact it had on us with our relationship with our Heavenly Father. Okay, so let me ask you, what chapter, did you write a chapter in the book? Yes, I'm okay. chapter three. Okay, and can you give us a little bit about the chapter, what was it all about? Chapter three is entitled, Daddy, You Are Not the Enemy. Because many times when people get defiled in their father daughter relationship or touched in the wrong way or abused in any kind of way, we tend to hate our fathers and be distant and then just grow up estranged from them instead of realizing the real enemy is the devil and not our father. So, so my chapter so is about are you forgiveness. Saying that, that, okay. Are you forgiving a father from that did touch you or just uh, forgiving or blaming a father if someone else touched you? I'm forgiving a father that did touch you. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. You're with your father over here? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. And we have nothing but love between us. Okay. okay. So there is forgiveness if you choose to. So, and how did you come to that realization? Because some people never come to that realization. Exactly. First of all, you have to choose to, mm -hmm. because at first I suppressed it, and then years later when things, the triggers were hit, that's when God was like, why are you acting like that? It's like, what do you mean? Da, da, da. You know how we justify our actions, start sure. acting crazy and ratchet. And then God was like, you gotta heal, you gotta let that go. I'm like, let what go? And that's when I went so, through the process. Let me ask you, you, you have a husband. I'm divorced. divorced, I did have one. And during that time, did your, did your husband know about that? Yes. And how did, at that time, was your father internet acting in your life? He was away, I call it boot camp incarcerated. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So what was his feeling about like that? He kind of got enlightened, like, that's why you're acting the way you act, because I didn't okay. tell him for years. Okay. And okay. then that's what made me deal with it, because of the way I was acting in the marriage, yeah. not realizing I had daddy issues. I had a, a, a problem similar to that right there. I'm not mm -hmm. someone touching me, but I had a girlfriend when I was 18 years old. Wow. And I used wow. to sneak into her house. <laughs> right. We had to sneak into her house, tell you a quick story. And her mother was sick all the time. Okay. So her mother was sick. Then. Her father was drunk. Oh, no. He'd be drunk all the time. Mm -hmm. and everything. Now, I'm not going to say that's what made him touch her, but he was drunk. You know, I would never know. Right. I could yeah. sneak right past her. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what happened was, he got up and he came into the room. So I hid in the closet. Whoa. And I was 18 at the time. Whoa. I hid in the closet and I heard him say these words. He said, come sleep with me Shut tonight. Shut the front door. Yes, that's what he said. And like it was normal that that's, the, that's what he said. So I'm in the closet. So she so she said something to him to get him to go to the room. Oh his my room. God. And then when she said, did you hear that? I said, yeah, I hear it. I oh said, I'm going to kill it. <laughs> I said, I was in love. He was oh dead. My God. I started calling all the Muslim names. I said, I'm going to get high King Raheem. We're going to get it. And we were going to get him. Oh, no. I was young too, but we were going to get him, yeah. right? And she begged me. She begged me. Yeah. She begged me. Yeah, we were in the hallway, the and she begged me. She, I said, unless you tell me, he's right. dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> my God. And, and then she, she confessed and told me. Wow, that, 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 that it happened yeah, before. Yeah, that, that, that's what he did on a continual basis. That's sad. You know, and stuff of that nature. And then we really never seen each other after that. Wow. I tried, but the father was very overprotective. Wow. I didn't understand that's why. why. That was the reason. That's his territory. I mean, yeah, oh my God, you know. Wow, yeah, so sad. I lost a good person because of of that behavior. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope so healed. I hope so too. Yeah. I hope so too. But one day we'll talk about the other story yeah. that go along with that. <laughs> from on, you know, whatever whatever uh, happened to her later, yeah. years later. Because it's a we, we we can we could write a, a wow. play behind what happened Seriously. later behind what, what what she went through. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So for you and I never knew whether she forgave him, you know, I kinda think she did. Yeah. I didn't understand it because I was young. And I didn't come from that. Right you didn't blame so, themselves. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't know how to, to process, uh, yeah, to process that. Yeah. I was mad for about 10 years. Head on, take his head off. <laughs> take his head right off. I was <laughs> boxing at the time, too. Couldn't tell me I went out late. Right. So, when did you come to that realization? How old were you? Ooh, 
I want to say between 25 or was it around 35 because like I stated because of the husband issues that I had when I realized those triggers was coming from that right. that's when God was like get to the root deal with it my heart was like boom, get, get boom, rid of that right. because if the husband tried to advance on you a certain way right. you felt like you know hey right. you're taking advantage of exactly. and it really was I didn't even want to be touched a certain yeah, way yeah, yeah, by my yeah, husband right. I didn't want him to kiss me a certain right. way and, exactly. I was like, and I was like why I said oh yeah. my god this is how I was touched this is how someone yeah. kissed me right. and that's right. what made right. those right. things come to light and he understood right. and had yeah. compassion wow. Yeah. wow but you guys still couldn't in your relationship. Yeah, it was something else okay. way okay. past that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. We're friends okay. now, but okay. yeah, happily okay. divorced. So how are you dealing now with men? How are things? Going? It's a lot better now. Mm -hmm. I still have zero tolerance for foolishness, mm -hmm. but I don't have those triggers like being touched or someone doing something a certain way of affection. I don't take it as like, oh my God, that's disgusting. Mm -hmm. It's like, all right, calm down. Right. I'm not right. the father who touched you the wrong way. Yeah. I'm your husband. It's okay. Sure. So sure. now it's like relax right, and right. receive love and not right, think of right. it as <gasps> yeah, yeah that's disgusting yeah, yeah. yeah but do you tell everybody that let's say you don't know, nah. that's kind of hard to yeah because a man is you need know, to know basis yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah it takes, to know that basis. takes that takes some serious time because yeah. i don't think that if me and her would have stayed together i don't think i would ever got her over that and certain men when y'all hear certain things y'all right look there. at us different you'd be like yeah. what happened no, no, to you no, i'm gonna no, touch no, you now no it wasn't <laughs> But, but but here was here was the deal. It wasn't that I looked at her that way, but oh. I didn't mind extracting her from that situation. Right. But I don't think that I would have want him, you know. Oh, you can't be around him. No, can't be around no, him. no, no. He was You're cut definitely off, like buddy. you know, yeah. an old boyfriend. You're done. You know, You're you done. Can, <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. understand me? So that's yeah, true. I, I can see that right there. So that's in, in your chapter. Mm -hmm. uh, can you give us a little meat of it, just a little bit? Yes, I would love to. One of my subtitles is my perception is my reality. Okay. So you know how people say, I didn't do that, I don't remember that? Because when I talked in front of my dad, he really didn't remember anything I said. He's like, what? So I was like, wow. But you see, you never know how the enemy use someone. Sure, and then sure. throw them oh, away. Course, course, they could have been high and right. really don't remember. Exactly. All them years, I'm pissed off, right. disrespecting him. And he looked at me like, what's wrong with you? And he really didn't remember. Sure, sure, sure. So I was like, look at all the wasted time. The energy. Yeah. Right, for nothing, all the time we could have been closer. Right. And it's like, right. but even if he did remember, I still, you gotta forgive regardless. Sure, sure. For your own self, your yeah. own soul to yeah. be free. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but again, on a man's side, that's, that's still pain. a hard thing. It's painful. You know, it's pain is part of the process, though. Yeah. Yeah. You can't not deal with it because right. you wanna hide from the pain or don't unmask your pain. Sure. It's easy sure. to suppress it, sure. but it's sure. gonna come out in another relationship, so yeah. you have to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. So, if we conclude this interview, how would someone get in touch with you because some people you know would really i really would like to after this have to sit down and interview with okay that would be amazing uh but some people would just like to interview you and figure yeah. out how did you get past this and Amen. to deal this because they seem to you interview uh, uh, introduce your dad yeah yeah i love him i would love to share we have a website it's www.daddiesgirlspeaks d-a-d-d-y-s-g-i-r-l-s-p-e-a-k-s.com or we have a Facebook page as well, okay. Daddy's Girl Speak. But if they want to contact me, I don't know, it's okay to give out my phone number or something Well, if like you that. like it, if, yeah. you, if you feel that, you know, that you don't Someone mind. Someone serious that need help and in, in, inquiries Because people heal. could use that, yeah. you know, that, they you know, the bridge you climbed over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, how many people climb over Yeah, that? they can reach me at 973-445-7558. My name is Teresa. I'll be glad to help. Teresa who? Billingsley, Chapter 3. Billingsley. Okay. Yes. All right. Again, this is Zachariah Jackson, Bassa News. Good night. Good night.